I've yeah. never wondered on the current situation about paying college athletes. Oh, well, my topic is uh, to inform, or my topic is to pay college athletes, but I'm here to inform you guys on the current situation about it. I'm going to talk about some pros and cons about it. Um, <coughs> some background information is that college athletes, <clears throat> obviously they're considered people, they're considered athletes, and like most athletes, you recognize that they put their body on the line and they do a lot um, behind the scenes that we don't really see. So we don't know what's going on in their lives, but we know that they work hard just like they work in school. They're student athletes, so the time that they put in school, they got to put that too um, in their athletics. Um, and in today's era, um, being a college athlete, we know um, you have such a popular name in, in society and in social media with social media blowing up the way it does. So we know in social media, um, <clears throat> it blows up your name, gets your name out there. Uh, you can set a brand for yourself. Um, and do a lot like that. Um, just as these athletes, just like in professionals, since they're playing on almost the same level, um, like I said, they put their body on the line, they all have the same end goal, which is usually to make it to the NCAA championships. Um, and that's the biggest issue, is, um, is the NCAA uh, and their agreements with athletes and the programs that are at the top of the game right now. Um, <clears throat> Some of these quotes, um, all of this, um, just like in professional sports, I'll go back to that. There's no um, exact end goal. You could always keep making it further. You could keep working at your craft or do whatever you really need to. And these athletes, um, they do a lot just because they do at the same time of pro sports. Um, whether their careers are cut short from injury or not, um, like I said, they put their body on the line, so you really don't know exactly um, what they could be doing. Like, I'll just use it as an example. Um, college football players have the same amount of, of chance that to like contact like CTE as professional athletes. Um, so I'll get right into it. Um, that's a little bit of, of my background information. Um, I'll talk about the pros, the cons, and I'll talk about the current situation with paying college athletes. Um, some of the pros that I really thought about was Statistically, it's proven that most athletes do want to get paid more. Um, it's proven that 80% of student athletes um, want to get paid for putting their uh, name out there because they believe that the school is kind of using them to make all that money. Um, it's even LeBron James and Bernie Sanders have even come out to talk about it um, on a show on the shop on HBO. LeBron has talked about paying college athletes and he's even gotten other athletes to come over and talk about that. Um, Michael Wilbon, who is an analyst for ESPN, has also discussed that because he thinks that same reason that uh, that LeBron kind of attacks the NCAA is because they're using the athlete's name in a way where it makes them seem kind of like a monopoly and they're using the athlete's name. Um, on the other side of it, I'll talk about the pros, uh, no, the cons about paying college athletes. That is more the less unpopular side, but it also... Um, something that a lot of people talk about and that's the current situation is um, not a lot of people like to pay the college athletes so um, in a news article um, about pro and cons about the whole um, situation people thought that this would burden smaller schools just because um, well names coming out of high school wouldn't want to go to a smaller school they'd want to go to a big school to put their name out there um, and that's a really big issue somebody else said um, on a New York's uh, New York article um, mentioned that uh, scholarships which is obviously a lot of money it's a lot of payout to the student people believe that um scholarships make up for a lot of that money that people could be making while playing their athletics and um the ncaa considers the scholarships as paying the college athletes already from what they really want um the current situation about the whole ordeal is that california actually passed a bill in uh, 2023 um their whole goal was to really set an example for the other states, and that is actually what has happened currently. Um, all around uh, the United States, it's actually been passed um, that they will begin to start paying college athletes. Um, that's the current situation on all of it. Um, yeah, and that's about it. <coughs> <coughs> And uh, this is my audience. <laughs>